Hi there, my name is Eric. I'm Norson. We're playing in a band called Evancon, and you guys are watching Raw Cut Media. something I did in the winter time when I couldn't go skateboarding. Right. So it's not like my prime uh, interest, you know. But I, I love it, but it's still, it's, it's more, it's a little bit of a hassle, I think, to go up to the mountains with it. You Compared know, to skateboarding, absolutely. Skateboarding, you, you gotta buy more stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. Past, it's oh. a little bit more, uh, more of a big deal to go up there. I mean, right. yeah. But totally lots of fun, right? Yeah, I love it, love it. Awesome. I actually have been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of snow skating this this uh, winter because I, I got a daughter and uh, she's all into skateboarding and stuff and we go uh, snow skating. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So uh, you guys are going on what 22 years now? Yeah. Of being in Melancholy. Yeah. Um, no lineup change at all. Um, what's ah the, that guy? He's the new guy. The new guy. From what? How? How new though? When did you join the band? I joined the band uh, after their first demo tape, '93. '93, yeah. Okay. And three months. We had, we had three months before that, dude. And great times. Right, but <laughs> still basically the same lineup. Yeah, right? yeah. So yeah. is there? I'm not just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we talked about that in the earlier interview that he's the new guy. He's still like right. he's been with us quite some time. I must say, but I mean, we were friends from the start. And we split everything like equally, like 25, 25, 25 percent. Okay. And then also, I mean, we we had a lot of success over the years, which makes this uh, so great. I mean, we live off our music and everything. I mean, we love what we're doing. So, I mean, there's a lot of small components together. It's like, why should we not be together doing this? This is the best. Time. Awesome. It's really been in control over pretty much everything regarding the band. Everything from writing the songs to making the artwork, uh, planning the tours, all that stuff. Our own managers. Right. And that, that's why we're maybe not touring that frequently, like all the time, because there, you don't have a manager telling you, you guys should do this, you guys should do this, you have to do this. We're like in control. Uh, which gives us a little bit more of like a breathing room, you know? Yeah, more flexible. You yeah. kind of do what you want. Exactly. Kind of right. And you guys celebrated the Penny Bridge Pioneers 10th anniversary uh, two, three years ago? Yeah. 2011, uh, 2012? Yeah, exactly. It, uh, it, was, uh, it was 10 years, uh, 2010, but, but we did one or two shows to 2010. And then, like people wanted us to tour on that album, so it actually the tour took place 2011. But uh, yeah, that that's when we came through here too. Right. So that must have been a pretty good uh, response because that, that that album is really that album is the one that kind of like took you guys to the next level almost. Yeah, totally. totally. It, it was it was exactly as you're saying. Like that, that album took us to the next level. And that uh, 10 year anniversary thing was just like, we did one show in our hometown. And then uh, people just asked us, Jack, can, can you put that out, out on it like, for like a tour? And we thought, yeah, maybe do some European stuff. Maybe and Canada was kind of early for that thing as well. But it ended up being like almost like 100 shows like all over the world with that, that thing. Yeah. So it must have been really good reactions. Yeah, yeah, it's fun too because it's, it's a fun thing to do. I mean, when you do a regular show, you just mix everything. You have a set list. Where, but this time around, like everybody knows, we got which song we're gonna start with, which song is coming next, and stuff. So it's kind of fun to just perform it from the first to the last song of the album. Right. And uh, you guys played some songs from that album that you've never played 
live, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, did that make you want to like take other songs from other albums that you've never played live? And yeah, yeah, it totally like oh, because when you you know re you record an album and then right after you you're done with the recording, you know that okay, that's a song I'm never gonna play ever again. I hate right. that song. It just sucks. And that song and that song and that song. So you threw away a lot of songs like. You don't even think about it anymore. You forget about those yeah, songs, yeah. and that's the songs we had to take out. Now again, you know, first time we we played them since uh, the studio, and uh, and we love to, and they actually turned out to be the most fun songs to play live. So is it something completely newish? New yeah, yeah. But they are completely newish for us. I mean, you had to totally like listen to them, and, you know, because you forgot how they. You know how they were like relearning a new yeah, song. Yeah, totally, totally. So of course, it, it's just like we know that we got lots of those songs lying around, which we can, you know, if there is a need to pick them out. And I mean, but I mean, we got so many songs, and people, I realize that some of our fans are getting upset that we're actually picking up old songs, which maybe not, and we skip out on some of the songs they want to hear. Right, right, right. So we have to, you know. We want to please our fans, and we want to have like a great set list with like the best songs they like. And we, we, you know, you can always see like on iTunes and Spotify which ones are, are the most played and stuff. And they are usually the, the, the songs that are the most popular, popular too. But I mean, uh, usually we, we do say if we do 20 songs in a set, we do like 15 which we know people like, and then we do five for ourselves which are maybe not the the top songs. Something like that. So, any plans for 2014? Kind of working on new music, doing tours? Or? No, we're working on a lot of uh, new music and we're doing some festivals in the summer. Uh, right now, just European and Russia. Yeah, first time for us in Russia. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be great.